Like Teddy Gray on stuff, Wushi gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. Hey gang, what is good? It is your boy Teddy Gray on stuff today. Your king, Vandar, Hanuman Knights. Um, now I'm not sure if this is going to be a sponsored official music video, but it is an official music video. Happy Kumai New Year, and without further ado, let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. Hanuman. Let's see what sort of vibe this is. Saxophone. That's so, oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. See, Vandor, Vandor does a lot of, uh, a lot of symbolism within his music videos. Um, so, of course, to symbolize the woman as a squirrel would mean that she, he's given her the nut. For want of a better phrase. That's the symbolism. But he's he's saying it without saying it. Like, your head has to do the legwork for it. Do you know what I mean? But it's a subtle one. Ugh. Already this is sounding smooth. Obviously, the callback to his his track solo as well. You light me off like a firework, send me flying like Apollo. Apollo being the the rocket. Let's go. I can't look elsewhere but you. I no longer want to be solo. Nice. So he's ready to settle down. Maybe that's the sort of uh, the sort of approach that that he's going to go with for the the next album. Is to. Because obviously the albums before, he's had songs like Hot Boy and like Daddy Darb, where it's like very like, very sensual, but it's, it's one for the women, but he has no intention of, of settling down with a woman. Whereas Hanuman Nights kind of feels like he has that intention, like he's, he's ready to settle down, you know, maybe he's a, he feels like he's accomplished quite a lot already. Nice. <laughs> 
trong sơ lồ Ôn banh bong đôi chia cần chúa dòi bong hoa hai đôi Apollo Baby I'm stuck with you, mẹ khai ngay có si chấm phù Mình follow me anh thật viết mô nâng rìa đèn nói em đừng đủ Mình nói em không chết lại, baby I bong không có si Wow, that's crazy I see pink colour everywhere I go, meaning, meaning, you know, like, I'm guessing that's, that's her feminine energy and it's rubbing off on him wherever he goes in life. Um, but he also said something about a tear rolling down the cheek, I'll be the rainbow to stop it. If you've got tears rolling down your cheeks, I'll be the rainbow to interrupt it. Um, now, tears rolling down the cheeks, obviously symbolising the, the dropping of water tears but that's like rain do you know what i mean i'll be the rainbow to interrupt it meaning there is no rainbow without sun so if she's feeling down if she's feeling like a rainy day he'll be the sun and he'll create a rainbow to interrupt any any badness he'll bring something beautiful into her life the rainbow mm. that's so nice as well <laughs> So basically the um the idea is is that if you if you share a hand in man beer with your significant other or somebody who you're you're after, um like a love interest, uh then you know that's that's where things can lead, you know, the possibilities are endless with a hand in man beer. Um I feel like this song was just sort of one giant advertising campaign for Hanuman rather than it being <clears throat> about the music um, which is kind of annoying if if a song like this is going to come out again where it's where it's basically an advertising campaign put it out on Hanuman's YouTube channel don't use your own official music channel Like un unless Baramai or Vandar or A Game or Laura Mam, unless one of them has like shares in Hanuman beer, I don't know. It just seems like a, a just seems like a bit of a, a sellout because that 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 track, whilst it had flex on Vandar in there, and you know I love seeing him, I love hearing him. I don't care what he's doing with his voice. He finds metaphors and mantras. He finds he finds ways around specific ties into a beat. But this this felt like it felt like a cash grab. I don't know. This didn't feel this didn't feel like old Vandor. This didn't feel like prime Vandor. This didn't feel like we're getting a new Vandor. It just felt like an advert. I'm pretty disappointed. Um, to be fair, it's a nice song. Um, it's a nice song. It's just not. It, it's not. It's not anything that I can get excited about. I'm not excited about this record. 
it's nice for what it is, but I'm not excited about it and this doesn't make me excited about what's to come next. I don't know. Um, I was thinking about doing a rating system on this channel. But this probably isn't the best video to start that off at because I would probably give it about a 3 or 4 out of 10. And it's annoying because, as you guys very well know, Van Doris is one of, if not the best artist for me globally. The things that I've heard from him, the, the feelings that he's created inside of me, there's, there's barely an artist alive that can compare. So that was disappointing and below par. Not only for what I expect of Vandar, but for what I expect of Baramai also. Because I did not expect them to just be, oh yeah, let's get the money, let's get the bag as, as quick as possible, as easy as possible. As a fan, knowing that Vandar is dropping something, you got my hopes up. And you got my hopes up for what? A five minute advert. Fuck you, do better. Teddy Gray. <laughs>